Welcome to Solion TV's Unboxing FileMaker 14. I'm John Austin Lamprecht, and in this video I'll be showing the new Refresh Portal functionality in FileMaker 14. Right now we're on the contacts layout that shows detailed contact information for a specific contact record. On this layout we have two portals. On the left is a portal of the addresses associated with the specific contact, in this case John Austin Lamprecht. On the right is a portal of every contact in the database. For testing purposes, to show off the performance between refresh window, flushing cache join results, and the refresh portal script step, I've duplicated my record about 600,000 times to show a lag when using the refresh window. To illustrate, let's change this to Illinois. The filter addresses uses the state to filter, and the contacts portal on the right uses the first name, so we're going to change that to Martha. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go up here to my scripts menu and run the refresh window. This is just the refresh window script step with the toggle on for refresh cache join results. So this is going to get all the portal records and refresh them for both portals. So when I click that, you see there's starting to be a beach ball because it's taking a while to get through all of these 600,000 plus records. So another thing to take from this video is try not to have a portal with 600,000 plus records on your layout and refresh the window. So now it's finished filtering. You can see that Martha is now the only contact record in the portal to the right and the address in the state Illinois is the only record in the portal to the left. Now that was refresh window and you can see the performance implications of that. It took a really long time to refresh the join results with all these records. What we're going to do now is to show off the refresh portal script step. I'm going to change this to California and I'm just going to go up to my script menu again and do this script called refresh portal 1. That's only going to refresh my left portal. So watch how fast it is. Bam. Just like that. No delay because it's only refreshing this portal relationship. It's not touching this right portal. What I'm going to do now is show that it's going to take a while to refresh this by running the script up here, Refresh Portal 2, that refreshes the right portal. And what I'm going to show is that this portal on the left doesn't get touched when I do that. We're going to change this to Illinois so that it should filter if I use the Refresh Portal script step on this portal or ran Refresh Window. When I run the Refresh Portal 2 script step, it's only going to refresh this and this is going to stay the same. So let's take a look. And you can see it's taking a long time again because now it's refreshing this right portal where before the refresh portal script step was refreshing the left portal. And there we have it. It's now filtered to uh, Jeremy Brown. So I'm going to take a quick look at the script step just to show you how you do it. It's literally one line of code. So if we open up the script workspace, you see my three scripts here. In the refresh portal 1 and refresh portal 2 scripts, we just have the single script step refresh portal. And it works like refresh object, where you just specify the object name. In this case, my left address portal is named 1, and my right contact portal is named 2. Over here, you can see refresh window. This would be the previous way to refresh a filtered portal. You run the refresh portal script step, and you specify flush cache join results to refresh the, the portal relationship. What does this new refresh portal functionality bring? What it brings to the table really is that you can selectively refresh portals on your layout by their object name. So you've seen the performance implications of that, where I can say only refresh the address portal and don't even worry about this portal here. And what that does is it speeds up the rendering of the portal. If I in the past had to refresh a filter for this left portal, I would have to refresh the entire window, meaning I have to refresh this entire portal of 600,000 plus records. By using Refresh Portal, I don't have to do that anymore. So I have more control over what's refreshing on the window and thus improve performance. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Saline TV to view more videos from the Unboxing FileMaker 14 series.